All right, we'll get started with this press conference for Evil Geniuses. This press conference will last no more than 20 minutes or until we have no further questions from the press. Uh, I would like to remind that uh, when you are speaking for the players and coaches to hit the button on your microphone so that it turns green. And when you're finished speaking, hit it again so it turns red to avoid some sort of nasty feedback. Remote media is also present, and they will be allowed to submit questions via the chat and will be read aloud by me. Uh, for the press, uh, in-house and remote, please direct your question to a member of Evil Geniuses. If you'd like to hear from many members of the team, choose someone to start. We can begin with questions from in-person media. Please raise your hand if you have a question. How exciting. All right, hello. Uh, my name is Ethan Garcia. I'm with Dot Esports, and my question is for Cowrie. So, regardless of today's outcome, what were your expectations for yourself heading into the match, and do you feel that the expectations that you set for yourself were met, exceeded, or you still kind of feel that you have a little bit more to prove? Uh, more? I don't think it was the expectations I met. I thought we, can, we could win assists. 3-1, both teams. I played bad. I didn't. Next question. Hey guys, uh, Jay Silver here from Game Elevate. My coach, uh, question is for the coaching staff for both uh, Rigby and Turtle. Um, with, today's, uh, with today's loss, uh, you guys will be heading into the playoff stage in Mexico City. Um, without giving anything away, what do you think is going to be the most important thing to improve on to face off against some of the teams and plans? Uh, I mean, like, we're going to Mexico, and then it's, like, not so, like, safe place. So we're probably going to just stay in hotel, like, practice, like, a lot. And then I think the meta on Rose is going to be, like, far different compared to like NA, so like just adapting to it and then like going for what we think is good for the play-ins. And one more thing, it's, it's good for us to practice with more with Kaori Chu, for him to get used to the team and how to communicate with each other, so yeah, it's pretty much that. For EG, uh, just a note when answering, if you could pull the mic a little closer to you, uh, it'll, it's a little quiet right now. A remote question. Uh, with Worlds on home soil for the first time in six years, how excited are you to have a home crowd advantage, and do you have any expectations for the New York City fans, which tends to be the rowdiest in the world? This was not directed at anyone, so I'm going to arbitrarily choose Vulcan. Um, we're playing in Mexico first, so I'm not thinking about New York yet because plans are actually not that easy to make out of this year. So we actually need to take it seriously, and I don't think we have home advantage in Mexico. So, um, but if we make New York, I think that'll be hyped to have a home crowd and and have the team cheer for us louder than the other team. So hopefully we make it. Uh, Robert Haynes of the Game House. Uh, this is for Inspired. Uh, you just won your second MVP. Um, how does it feel to have an MVP in two different regions in two different years? Uh, it's pretty good, honestly. It feels pretty good. Uh, this is Germ with I Am Germ. Uh, my question's for JoJo. Uh, so obviously you haven't shied away from like trash talk with the EU teams, EU fans, all that stuff. But lately we've just hearing, been hearing about like 06 at MSI and all that stuff. So now going into plans, there's going to be two EU teams. Uh, I guess what do you have to say to the EU players, EU fans headed into Worlds now? Uh, I mean, they're not G2. So I think G2 is like much better than the teams that are going. I think it's like mad and... I don't know who, Rogue or Fnatic, I don't know. But I think we'll be much better against them, yeah. 
Question from remote media. This is for the coaching staff. What are your expectations moving forward for, to the play-ins where you will face teams like RNG and Fnatic and even others like Detonation Focus Me, which put some kind of a fight against C9 last year? I mean, like, I'm pretty excited that, like, play-ins, like, actually, like, the, for this year, it's going to be, like, a real deal. Uh, every, like, last seed, like, that comes from, like, major region aren't, like, weak teams. And then going out of it would be, like, huge asset for us. And then, like, if you just prep well and then play well and then get out of play-ins, I think, like, there's, like, much more that we can look after. So I'm pretty excited for the play-ins. The same. <laughs> Hey, uh, Michael Termini at the Game House. This one's at uh, Rigby. Uh, unfortunately, I, I have to ask it. Uh, who should fans be expecting to start in the ADC position for Worlds? Oh, Kaori, I think. As, as of now, like, Daniel's just having, like, a well-needed rest. And then, uh, even though it was, like, short amount of, like, practice, we had, like, good times with Kaori. So, like, we're confident, like, whoever's coming. But, like, for now, Daniel's taking rest. So, I'll say Kaori. Hi there, this is Nick Geraci. My question is for Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan, you guys had a pretty competitive series today. Well, it wasn't the result you wanted. You were able to push it to game five with a roster you've had, I assume, less than a week of practice on. Uh, overall, how did you do compared to expectations in this series? And what do you think this roster, if this is the roster we see at plans, um, needs to improve on most before those matches? Um... I don't think individually I played very well. I think as a team we had good moments. I think Kaori played very well. Um, even though he'll say he played bad, I think he played well. And I think especially game five, I could have lain better and pointed to Soraka pick more, but I didn't. And then we had like no pressure because of that. And other than that, um, for plans, I think the biggest thing we need to work on, as Turtle has mentioned before, we need to get more reps in with Kaori. Obviously, it's not easy to just jump in and, and play after it was like, I don't know, not even 10 scrims. Um, so we'll have to get on the same page more and um, I guess just not int. We had a few ints in this series, so yeah. This question is for impact. Impact reflecting on the split. What do you think were some of the glaring weaknesses that prevented the team from winning back-to-back -back titles? That doesn't work. Ah, okay. Why we lose? Yeah. We're just worse than the enemy. I think he means coach gap. Oh yeah, kind of coach gap. I picked Simon, so it's coach gap. This question is for uh, Inspired from Travis Gafford of Travis Gafford Industries. Uh, inspired, uh, I, who do you expect to take tomorrow's match? Um, I, th I think uh, Cloud9 will win. And I think it will be like 3-1 if 100Ts will manage to somehow win one game. Jay's over from Game Elevate once again. I have a question for Impact. Um, Impact, this is your return to Worlds uh, after not making it for the past year and a half. Um, being a former world champion, uh, what do you think of the current top lane uh, pool of uh, players that are going to be attending Worlds 2022, and how do you think you'll stack up against some of them? Oh, wait, let me think. No Kuri, Kingen. Wait, and Zeus? Who's the other one? Dolph or Doran? Wait, Doran, right? Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty good lane pace, and... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I, I need to win playing stage first, so I cannot say that we I can beat that 
timeliness. I mean, I have pretty confident. I have, uh, let me think. I mean, we play stage first, but they're pretty good. That's all. Question for Kaori. What are some of the biggest things you learned from your first series on the big stage? I mean, I don't know how to answer this because like, when you learn something, you don't see it like, oh, I learned this. You know what I mean? Like, like obviously, playing in front of crowd was a good experience. And like, some of in-game plays, I did learn, but like, I can't say what I learned, I think. It's hard to say. Uh, this is Digon uh, for face check, I guess. Um, Jojo, you had a much improved playoff run than I think the regular season. What clicked for you if anything, specifically here in the playoffs, including today's match? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think usually the other team plays worse in playoffs too. Um, especially today, I think he was like shaking or something. I can tell in game because he was playing pretty badly. But, you know, I feel like in playoffs, players are usually more nervous. So, I don't know. I just feel like it's easier to exploit them. So, yeah. Uh, Henrique Demore here for uh, Dad Esports. Question for the coaching staff. Um, obviously, it was a very short time you guys had to scrim. Take me through kind of what the goals were as soon as you knew that the that the bottom line had to be changed. Was it more about adapting Kari to what you guys were doing, or learning about what Kari's strengths were, and then formulating a game plan around him? Or is it not even fair to think of it kind of that that binary? Oh, like, honestly, when we were with Daniel, like, he has, like, his exceptional, like, champions, like, he played, like, so well, so we were trying to, like, adjust to, like, uh, his preference, but with Kari, like, uh, we were actually going for what we think is right, like, generally, not just in NA, but, like, in the whole region, so it was, like, pretty exciting experience for me, and then, like, the expectation was, like, actually, like, winning finals, I kind of fucked it up today, so it's my bad. Uh, this is Jerm again. I have another question for Jojo. Um, so obviously MSI was your first ever international tournament. Now you're getting ready to head into your second one. Um, you know, what did you learn from MSI or, or how are you going to prepare for Worlds differently? You know, like, do you feel better prepared for this now that it's your second one um, to hopefully, you know, perform better this time? I mean, yeah, I definitely think I'll play better this Worlds than at MSI. Um, I've said a lot that I learned a lot from MSI versus, you know, the best mids in the world. So, yeah, I think this time it'll definitely be better. Question for JoJo from Remote Media. Are there any players in particular that you're looking forward to playing against in Champions Q? <laughs> RGS, no, I mean, probably Trovi, because I never versed Trovi before, even in Korea, and even like in MSI, obviously, so I've never versed him before, so yeah, I'd like to verse Trovi. Question for Vulcan. What are some of the differences between Danny and Kauri's play styles and tendencies that you've observed so far? Um, I think Danny is more happy just uh, like scaling for the game and just going even and trying to farm as much as he can and playing for team fights. whereas Corey, Carol, will try to play more aggressive in lane and try to build a lane uh, from minute one and just like a more aggressive play style in general. Any other questions from in-person media? All right, we'll call it there. Evil Geniuses, thank you for your time. Thanks for the questions. Hey everyone, I am at LCS Summer Finals in Chicago, and I would not be here without Alienware. Alienware supports me 
so much. They allow so many things to happen. We're uploading content from this event that's all from Alienware computers. So thank you so much for watching uh, this video, and thank you, Alienware, for supporting. Uh, and while you're here, maybe um, drop a subscribe if you, if you feel like it. You don't have to. You really don't have to. In fact, don't. I don't even, I don't even want you to now.